we're gonna be continuing our predictions for the MAC tournament. This is part two of our predictions. Part one, which was the 125 to 157 pounds, um, is our last video. So check that out if you haven't already. But yeah, let's get right to the predictions. First off at 165, it's number 19, Keegan O'Toole, and number 20 is Zach Olenek. O'Toole, the number two recruit in the class of 2020, 9-0 on the season, has seven wins with technical falls, and he's actually wrestled Zach Olenek before. I uh, gave him his only loss of the season. It was a 5-1 to one win over Olenek, and O'Toole just been a great wrestler since high school, where he was a four-time Wisconsin State champion. Uh, Olenek, on the other hand, has a nice win over Wyoming's Cole Moody, a three-time Wyoming State qualifier, and he has a good win over SDSU's Cade DeVos. Um, both guys very good Olenek a sophomore Keegan O'Toole a true freshman it's gonna be fun watching them wrestle but I think O'Toole is gonna pull out here get another win over Olenek and win this tournament and at 174 three guys ranked here in the top 20 senior Andrew McNally who's ranked ninth right now Peyton Mako who's 11th and then at 16th is Mason Kaufman of Northern Illinois now McNally was a MAC runner-up last year and is number 11th in the uh, NCAA coaches rankings uh, great wrestler in the MAC in the past few years while Mako very younger compared to McNally he's just a sophomore and is 9-0 on the season with a pin and major decision he's actually beaten Kaufman and Lance Runyon a few times um, so it's gonna be interesting to see uh, McNally and Mako go up against each other Kaufman definitely is a dark horse given that he is a senior and a 18th ranked guy at 174 in the recent coach rankings and had a very close matchup with Mako but this weight class I do think McNally since he has that experience and has been undefeated on the season um, as well as Mako but I think both guys Gonna be a tough, greedy finalist match, but McNally is probably gonna pull through here and win the championship. Then at 184, it's number 13, Jeremiah Kent of Missouri. Number 18, Britt Wilson of Northern Illinois. Uh, Wilson, a junior and 10 and one on the season after he took a loss to uh, Parker Kickson of Northern Iowa. Uh, Two-time NCAA qualifier in the past, who's three wins and two majors, as well as a technical on the season. Um, on the other hand, Jeremiah Kent, a sophomore is 7-0 on the season, has three pins and a tech fall. A huge win over Tate Samuelson, a 6-4 decision, while Samuelson was the number 7th ranked guy at 184 at the time. So it's going to be pretty interesting seeing these guys wrestle. But you have to remember, Kent hasn't wrestled uh, for the past one or two weeks I think due to an injury or a COVID test. Um, so because of that, as well as the mat rest that he'll probably have, I think Britt Wilson's going to come out here, get an upset, and win the MAC championship. And at 197, two good guys here for the MAC, Greg Bulsek of Clarion, who's 11th ranked, and then Rocky Elam, uh, who's just outside the top 20. Uh, Elam of Missouri, a young guy, I think he's a true freshman, really been dominating this season. He's 7-0, has a few pins, a few tacks here and there. And Bullsick also has been dominating this season, undefeated. I think he is 8-0. Was a three-time NCAA qualifier in the past, um, but Rocky Elam, just a great wrestler. He's been wrestling outstanding this whole season, and it's going to be a good matchup between these guys. But I think Rocky Elam is going to come out here, wrestle hard, keep the pace on, and get an upset here over uh, Gary Bullsick. Then finally at 285, uh, three rank wrestlers, Matt Stencil of Central Michigan, number eight, Zach Elam of Missouri, and number 10, Ethan Lard of Ryder. Uh, Matt Stencil is the fourth ranked guy at his weight class and is the reigning MAC wrestler of the year. Seven on the season and he has won 21 straight matches since last season. Uh, will probably become Central's third four-time MAC champion and just been dominant. Um, but on the other hand, Zach Elam will still be a dark horse in this tournament. Uh, junior has gone six and three with two pins against pretty brutal competition in the heavyweight weight class given Missouri's schedule. But I think Matt Stencil, just been dominant this season, will probably repeat as the MAC wrestler of the year and win the MAC championship at heavyweight. Yeah, that's gonna wrap up our video for today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and sub for more as content like this. The recap of this event will probably come out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Peace.